I'm Ali, and uh, I was born in Southern Hospital in Johannesburg. My parents are refugees. I'm a third year student at the University of Johannesburg. I'm using a refugee status, and at UJ I'm regarded as an international student. A person who is stateless is defined as a person who is not a national of any country under the operation of its laws, therefore making them invisible. We have people in this country who were born to parents who have permanent residence uh, and who cannot apply for permanent residence because now they're over 21. Uh, and at the same time, the next avenue would have been for them to apply for citizenship by naturalization because they were born here, but they cannot because their parents have uh, permanent residence. Uh, so that has left them in this lacuna where they have no legal avenue, which leaves them stateless, leading us to apply for permanent residence by exemption because they have no other avenues to document themselves. For my first year, it has always been difficult uh, finding a bursary. I dropped out in 2019, and in the same year, it was always difficult finding uh, a job. I found a job in, in a retail store, and the manager really wanted to employ me after seeing my CV. He told me what would happen to me if he were to employ me and that I would end up getting arrested and he would get into trouble. Here are these young adults who finish high school and cannot or struggle to get their foot in the door in terms of universities, who struggle to, to pursue their dreams, to pursue any careers that um, they would ordinarily be able to should they have documents. This affects them in so many ways. This includes, you know, they can't open bank accounts, um, they can't get steady jobs. In the 2000s, as a kid, I was in a number of TV ads. I was also in the starting theme song for Takalani Sesame. And I was also in the movie Hotel Rwanda. I had a couple of scenes in that movie, just me and my family. I would have become an actor, but the people at my agency told my mother that she would have to make sure that I got an ID. And my acting career ended simply because I didn't have an ID. When I was 17 years old, I wanted to become a soccer player. I joined Jomo Cosmos Academy in the south of Joburg. And all the coaches needed from me was an ID. There are remedies in the law. That, that's not the problem. Uh, the problem is that Home Affairs is not responding to the applications. What we're calling for the government to do is, number one, to sign the two stateless conventions. We are also calling on the government to resume permanent residence application section as well as the naturalization sections. The third thing we're calling for is for the government to process applications that have already been submitted as well as applications that um, continue to be submitted at the citizenship section and give outcomes for those applications. And the last thing we're calling on the government to do is to enact a national action plan to eradicate statelessness. I plan on becoming a successful businessman. I would like to continue studying, but at the moment I have to help my family. I plan on finding a job as a starting point. I then plan on building myself towards becoming the businessman that I see, that I see myself in future. I plan on investing in various types of businesses in order to create jobs and support jobs. They've lived here their entire lives. They know the languages here. They're connected to the culture here. Imagine if you were to be told that regardless of your connection to the place, you do not belong. I grew up in Johannesburg. I've never been outside Gauteng. All my friends are in Johannesburg. And this is the only place that I've known as home. 